Hey lady, watch this. Put your phone down. You're gonna break it. No. <laughs> your fault. Yo, you have a nice get. And today, you will also learn how to create the name ESP feature in Counter-Strike 2. This aspect will read the name of the entities and then draw them directly onto the screen. Look at Miguel. He couldn't time from our class. We can also just check and uncheck the name if we don't want it. Subscribe, like or write a comment. I would love to hear the next feature you want me to cover. You can also find the Discord server in the description. But remember, comply with the terms of service for the game you're coding hacks on. Many games permit it and it's essential to respect their guidelines. All Sweat C Sharp tutorials are designed with multiplayer disabled and this tutorial will precisely demonstrate how to achieve that. Now enjoy this tutorial. Hello people of the internet, welcome to yet another showcase. Let's take a closer look at the final source you will have. This is the source, it builds upon the wall hack or the basic ESP and it will show the names. Draw name. Let's take a closer look at it in game. So before we run any application that manipulates the game's memory, we will go into Steam under the game Counter Strike 2. We will right click on the properties. We will add the launch option dash insecure. This is because without this, you can risk getting banned. Dash insecure will disable VAC and we can play on our own without harming anyone else's experience. So we can't join the normal matchmaking, but we can sit in a practice game all to ourselves and test our applications. So incredibly important, we can get banned otherwise. Inside the main menu, you can check that this is enabled by going into matchmaking, checking a map, and this window will come up saying that you have launched the game in Dash Insecure. Otherwise, do not run any applications that could get you banned. Here you can now instead go into practice and play with bots like this. All right, so on a practice game on Mirage, we will test or showcase the final product. Here we have our application. When we start it, we can see the different names of the enemies through our ESP. Miguel, Frank, so on. You can change the color to whatever you want. But we can see the names of the entities. Miguel, what Miguel. You can see through the kill feed that that's him. That, but that's also soon. Here we have Frank. And we killed bot Frank. So a very fun project and definitely uh, improves our hack. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you in a little bit. I missed that. Hello, Frank. We can also just check and uncheck the name if we don't want it. It's pretty cool. Now enjoy this tutorial. All right, so instead of creating a new project, we will open the basic ESP tutorial project. You can get this from the Buy Me a Coffee page or follow the YouTube tutorial. Once you have the source, we need to update the offsets. I will update the first three ones just to show, but you would have to have all of them updated for it to work. Very important. You can watch the basic ESP tutorial to see how you get the offsets. 
Now, the new offset will be located in the client.dll.cs file and it's the m underscore is the player name. This attribute is considered a char array, but we will just create a string attribute for our entity. We can now populate this entity name with some data. We will set it to equal sweat.readString with the current controller, very important, and then the is the player name offset. We will read 16 characters, then split it at the forward slash of a this, then zero, and we will take the first element in there. This is because we're reading 16 characters, and if the entity's name isn't 16 characters, we will have question marks and so on. And we will just split it at this first character or the forward slash zero. Then we just take the first half, if that's the case. We can now move on to the renderer class. We will have some variables here. The first one will be a boolean to check whether we want to show the names or not. Then a vector 4 to represent the name color. I will choose 1111 to set the color to white. You can choose whatever color you want. It's your choice. Now, like the showcase, we will have a checkbox for our boolean enable name. We will now add the actual draw name function to draw the name on the screen. This function will take in an entity just like before and we will calculate the text location by taking the entity.view position to the x and then the entity.view position to the y with an offset minus 20 to move it up a little bit. Let's make it a parameter instead. Then once we have the text location, we will add to the draw list a text with the text location, the color convert flow to U32 with our name color, then just the name of the entity in text. We can now add the draw name function to our current entity loop and see some names. Before we can start, I forgot we need to check that our enable name boolean is true before we draw the names. All right, let's test it in game. So before we run any application that manipulates the game's memory, we will go into Steam under the game Counter-Strike 2, we will right click under properties, we will add the launch option dash insecure. This is because without this, you can risk getting banned. Dash insecure will disable VAC and we can play on our own without harming anyone else's experience. So we can't join the normal matchmaking, but we can sit in a practice game all to ourselves and test our applications. So incredibly important, we can get banned otherwise. Alright, so on a practice game on Mirage, we will test our final results. If everything is as it should be, if the logic is correct and the offsets are updated, we should now see some names over the ESP. We can see here Miguel, Azul, Frank, Greymouth. See that Azul is correct. Let's uh, inspect Miguel. Let's creep up on him. But Miguel. And we can see in the kill feed, Miguel. Perfect. Beautiful. Miguel respawn. Raymap over there. And we killed Raymap. So, a very nice feature to our ESP. And And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Frank!